Hello everybody, Hard Tacticon here, and I'm bringing you a very special figure that I've been waiting on a long time. It is Fire Blast Grimlock from the Fall of Cybertron Voyager class Grimlock mold, and he is awesome looking. Man is he the, just, the repaint of the year so far. I mean, but still, freaking awesome. I believe he is a Japanese store exclusive, I'm not sure exactly what store, but I got him from Big Bad Toy Store. And as of taping of this video, they still have a few on pre-order. So yeah, he's a really awesome looking figure. He's got all that green going on, it is beautiful and I love green. The lava colors and design which is kind of an homage to Doomlock, one of the Terracons from Transformers Energon, and kind of the Transformers activators, I'm not sure what he was called, Grimlock. Possibly Fire Blast Grimlock, or maybe Baked and Lava Grimlock, I'm not sure. But stop spinning them and let them look at him. He's cool. He's cool. Take the weapons off. Let's take a look at him like that. Just great detail on him. I mean, such a rocket kick. I like his mouth too. It almost gives him kind of like a mustache look, or maybe a milk mustache, and of course his electronics work. They're red like all the versions, but looks really cool. So let's uh show off some more fall of Cybertron Grimlocks with him so you can see some more fall of Cybertron Grimlocks. I have got the original Grimlock, Fall of Cybertron Grimlock, the retail version I mean, right here. He's got, okay that looks weird, he's got some cool retro label stickers, they're um, they're a little pink for my taste, I know it's supposed to go in with the Cybertronian glow, but mm, a little too pink. One of the first sets that I didn't really put on saying, wow! Man, that makes a cool difference. And all the panel lining, it's just me messing around with just a normal independent. But I think it makes it really pop. So, there they are. He can't open his mouth as wide. I mean, he can bite him. Okay, so there's these guys. And I've also got the... Uh, platinum edition. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Grimlock right here. Yeah, cinema. Came with the platinum edition Bruticus. And a new Grimlock stalking around right here that I will be reviewing next. So look forward to that review. Roar. Roar! So yeah, here is my four Fall of Cybertron Grimlocks. As far as I know, the only one I don't have is the uh, Takara release. And technically I still have a Takara release. And three Hasbro's. Platinum Edition and G1 style. We'll get to see But there's a bunch of Grimmies. See if we can do differently. There we go. Let's see some Grimmies like that. Alright, so I'm sure you're wondering how. This guy looks in robot mode. 
because some people say they don't even like the T-Rex mode on it. I still think it's cool, but more often than not, I do display him in robot mode. So, let's get there. Alright, so here we have Fire Blast Grimlock in robot mode. And he is awesome looking. He's coming. Look at this. It's got like this. It's kind of brown, but this metallic red sheen over it, almost like he just pulled his head out of lava. Same thing with the rest of the brown bits. His feet. I really hope it's coming out good on camera. Dude. It's just really a great effect. Of course, you get the, the green light piping from his chest and his eyes, super glowing. I mean, just rocking color job on this. He's got his yellow weapons. He's got some yellow in there as opposed to the red on the normal um, figure. Some gold in there. I guess that's supposed to be gold too, more than yellow. Here's the back of the figure. What you'd expect. Try to display our figures. Facing the front, not back. And this guy really needs to be right out in front. He is great looking. Now, I actually got the, I believe, the third party company named Arctech, the Infernal Blaster. And I like to take his shield. <laughs> Put it on the shoulder over here and give him his infernal blast. They also have just a regular black version of this one for the normal Grimlock, a blue frost one for some ice blasting, and a metallic black one. So yeah, I think it looks really cool with that. Give him some pointing out. like the other figures he does have the light up feature and he does have the lightning strike coalition symbol on his chest I think that's the best shot I'm gonna get okay Lord sucks people I'm sorry I do my best but either saw it or you didn't but check out a picture, and there will be pictures, of course, for this video. So yeah, there is Fire Blast Grimlock, Japanese exclusive. I got him from Big Bad Toy Store. You can too right now. And he's cool. He's awesome. And he's got some brothers on his show. Here is the G1. Target exclusive Grimlock. He's not really G1, he's just G1 style. My camera's going all wonky. I'll do for now. Alright, so I had to do some camera adjusting real quick, and I got his Grimlock buddies. We've got Fire Blast, Doomlock, slash Grimlock, whatever you want to call them, and the Target exclusive. G1 styling of Grimlock that came with a cool Optimus. And then we got some guys with some third party heads here. Got this guy, and he's got the. I don't think you can really see him. Here. He's got the King Kick Butt head. I don't know which company. Then we got this guy right here, who has got the Art of Tech Rex head. Oh, 
And these are my four Grimlocks. The only one I don't have is the Takara release, which I'm not going to bother. I've got a Takara release right there. This third party head is very cool. It seems to be styled after the Prime comics, I guess. And maybe the IDW a little one. This one I don't like as much. It's just not as cool. It's got the teeth molded in. Let's see if you can see it. You can kind of see it. Teeth molded in. But yeah, not super great. But yeah, there's his buddies. Some grim buddies. They're having fun together and they're enjoying life. So, I hope you like my Grimlock filled review of Grimlock, Fire Blast Grimlock. And I will see you next time in my camera's going on. Bye.